What do you do with potted spring bulbs once the flowers have faded? Do you just throw them out or can you put them out in the garden? That's what I'm going to look at in this video. Now if you don't care about the bulbs or you don't have a garden, well you can just discard them. Now it's best if you put them on the compost pile, but you can get rid of them. Think of them as potted plants. But a much better use is to take them and get them out into the garden. That way you can enjoy the flowers next spring and for many springs after that. And the process is pretty simple. Now when you've got them inside and they're blooming nice, try to give them as much light as you can because all of the spring bulbs are highlight bulbs. Water them well, keep the leaves nice and green, and enjoy the plants. Once the flowers are finished, the first thing you should do is cut off the spent blooms. Some of these bulbs will start making seeds and you don't want energy from the plant going into seed making. If we have a look at a daffodil as an example, right behind the flower you'll see a little green ball, an expansion of the stem. And that's the ovary and that's where the seeds will develop. So cut past that. But you can leave most of the stem there. The stems are green and they photosynthesize and we need this plant to make as much plant food as possible so it builds good sized bulbs. Once all the flower heads have been removed, the next step is to grow this plant until it can go outside. And to do that, you keep watering it, but give it as much light as you can. Now your home's pretty warm and the, the leaves will be fine if you put them in a colder condition like a sunroom or something, but they shouldn't really go much below freezing. A little bit of frost won't hurt them, but don't get them too cold. The key is lots of light. Now at this point, this plant is not used to direct light. So if you're going to start moving it into direct sunlight, you have to do that carefully. Give it a couple hours a day and then three days later give it a few more hours and three days later give it a few more hours. Over a period of about a week, get it used to that outdoor sunlight. Once the temperatures are warm enough to put it outside, get it outside in full sun. Now you have two options at this point. You could take everything in that pot and just sink it in the soil and plant it somewhere. That method is easy but it does have a downside. What you usually find is that the bulbs in these pots are pretty crowded and they're better off planted a little farther apart. What I prefer to do is leave them in the pot until the leaves completely die back and then put them in the garden and then I can plant them with the proper spacing. So keep them well watered. At this point, once they go outside, you could give them a little fertilizer if you like, but it's not really necessary. Summer around the middle of summer and that depends on the type of bulb it is and the cultivar and so on. But at some point the plant will tell you, I'm finished. And what you'll see is that those leaves will start going brown, they'll lay on the ground. And at that point, what you do is take the whole pot, turn it upside down, get everything out of the pot. By now the roots have stopped growing, the leaves have stopped growing. Any leaves that are still attached, just cut those off and you have some bulbs. Now a lot of people say, well, don't plant them now because you have to give them some dry storage and plant them in the fall. Well, that's a complete myth. Now we buy our spring bulbs in the fall, but that's because that's when they arrive in stores. They're actually harvested long before that and put into boxes and they go through the whole preparation stage to get them in the store near you. There is no point in having bulbs stored in a shed or basement. As soon as those bulbs have lost their leaves, dig them up and go plant them. They do much better in the ground because the ground is going to keep them cool. It's going to give them a little bit of moisture so they don't dry out. And then in fall when things start cooling down, they start making roots very early, much sooner than the bulbs you buy in the fall. And that will allow them to grow bigger for next year. That's really all there is to it. The key to this is light. The more light you can give it, the more it photosynthesizes, the more food it makes, the more food that gets into the bulbs, the bigger the bulbs. And the bigger the bulbs, the more flowers you'll have next spring. It's a pretty simple equation. So let's say you had these in the house and they, the flowers are starting to fade and, and you didn't get around to doing anything for a while. It just sat in a corner and the leaves look pretty ratty. Well, you'll find that in most cases those bulbs are still fine. Even if you didn't take good care of it, dump the pot out, take the bulbs and plant them. 
Now these bulbs are probably much smaller, but they will eventually grow big enough to flower. But get them out in the garden. Even tiny ones are fine. Now what about, what about some common myths? Like you have to put bone meal in the hole when you plant bulbs. Complete myth. Don't do that. In fact, squirrels like bone meal and they'll dig up your bulb. But bone meal is mostly phosphate and most soil has enough phosphate. So unless you know you have a phosphate deficiency, don't use bone meal in the garden. I grow hundreds of different kinds of bulbs in my garden. I've never put bone meal into any plant hole. It's just not needed around here. Anyways, that's all there is to it. Have fun in the garden.